ones, dearie. The Hey gamer, welcome to D6 Damage. Today we're looking at the Witch Hex Class feature. This is one of the things that really makes a witch a witch in the game Pathfinder. This also kind of relates to the Shaman Hybrid class, as they have the option of taking Witch Hexes as well. Now as a class, the Witch has a very steep learning curve, and it's easy to make a Witch which just isn't very good. So to help you get the most out of your witching experience, I've gone through the minor and major hexes, and I've dug out the ones which I think are actually worth your time. But starting off, what is a hex? Basically, a hex is kind of a repeatable spell that doesn't have a daily limit, kind of like a contrip. But occasionally, some hexes give you, like, additional features or bonus feats. Now, unless otherwise stated, the casting time for a hex is one standard action. And the DC to resist a Witch Hex is going to be 10, plus half the Witch level, plus the Witch's Intelligence Modifier. So that's why you're going to want your Intelligence Modifier as high as possible. This makes races like Elf, Tiefling, and Sylph particularly good for the Witch. So the first minor Witch Hex, which I recommend, is Slumber. Basically, this functions just like the Sleep spell, only it doesn't have the Hit Die limitation that the spell does. Sleep can only affect 4 hit die worth of creatures, so fairly early on in the game, the spell is going to be useless. Now, when you use this hex, the creature will sleep for a number of rounds equal to your witch level, and they won't wake up because of things like noise or light. And sleeping creatures are helpless and thusly vulnerable to things like coup de gras. Next up, Evil Eye. If the creature fails its will safe, you can impose a negative 2 penalty on AC, ability checks, or attack rolls. This lasts for three rounds, plus your Witch Intelligence modifier. Or if they make their will save, just one round. The next hex I recommend is Flight. Honestly, as a Witch, you should be able to fly. No broom required. Although, I would say hold off on this one until 4th level. Because as you increase in level, the Flight Hex does more things. At 1st level, you can just cast Featherfall as a spell-like ability. At level 4, you'll be able to Levitate. And finally, at level 5, you can actually fly. Then there's Fortune. Basically, what this does is it allows a friendly character, including yourself, to re-roll an ability check or attack roll, and take the better result. This lasts for one round. Then there's Misfortune, which works the same, but it forces an unfriendly character to take the worst of two rolls. Finally, there's Cackle. Basically, as a move action, you can cackle, you know, like a witch, and this prolongs the effect of Evil Eye, Fortune, or Misfortune for an additional round. The cackling is a move action. So it allows you to keep the good luck or bad luck train rolling. Alright, now on to major hexes. The first one I'd recommend is Agony. Basically, what Agony does is it gives one creature the nauseated condition. This means they can't attack or cast spells. This lasts for a number of rounds equal to your witch level. Although they do get an additional saving throw each round. Then there's the witch hex Ice Tomb. This does 3d8 of cold damage. Now, if the target fails its save, it's paralyzed and unconscious, because it's trapped in a ice tomb. The ice that holds it has 20 hit points, and destroying the ice frees the creature, but it's staggered for 1d4 rounds. Next up, Retribution. What Retribution does is it causes any creature that's attacking another creature in melee combat to take half of the damage that it inflicts, rounded down. So this is great for any of the big heavy sword fighters. Next, I have a tiefling-specific hex called Steel Voice. Basically, this lets you do exactly what a certain sea witch did in a certain mermaid-themed movie. Basically, take the voice of another creature. Now, for certain classes, this is a big deal. Example, spellcasters, bards, and just anyone who has something to say. And this lasts for a number of hours, equal to the witch's intelligence bonus. Finally, I recommend the hex Wax an Image. This lets you, as a full round action, create a wax voodoo doll of any creature that you can see. Then they make a will save, and if they don't make it, you have a certain amount of control over them. You can make them walk up to their total speed, attack themselves with a weapon, or just torture the doll to give them both the sickened and staggered conditions. And those are the hexes that I recommend. If you're interested in more class analysis or strategy videos for the game's Pathfinder or Dungeons & Dragons, check out D6 Damage right here on YouTube. Thank you for watching.